Eventing is a sport of highs and lows, and so it was for Ireland's Joseph Murphy. After piloting the only clear inside the time yesterday to sit second, his top horse electric cruise was eliminated from the competition at this morning's final horse inspection. That meant 19 would come forward to take on Jean-Philippe Demartes' a big, long and technical show jumping track for the final test. As we went into the top five, only Britain's Louise Harwood had managed to deliver a clear so far. But in quick succession, we had clears from New Zealand's Janelle Price and also from Arnaud Boiteau with the École Nationale d'Equitation's Coriano for France. Joseph Murphy and Sportsfield Othello, they had an uncharacteristic three down, leaving the door wide open and dropping them to fifth. Andreas Dubovsky and the former Buccalo winner FRH Boots Avedon held second position despite two down, but this left Ingrid Klimke with three in hand to take her first four-star victory. A clear looked almost certain until an unlucky moment at the triple bar, but just four faults was enough. Ingrid's tears as her national anthem played here at the Domaine de Serre show just what today's victory means to her. We caught up with Ingrid after her winning round. My first four star, I won my first four star with my own 10 year old Hellbob, horsewares Hellbob. So I'm very, very proud. He's such a neat jumper. The one rail down was mine, so he did the best he can do. And a lot of people made this weekend look quite difficult. You seem to have made it look a breeze. I must really say I, I really enjoyed every competition. I loved the dressage, he was superb in cross country and now in the stadium, although he was quite excited, he was still listening and nice and through that I really enjoyed it. The jump, a lot of people had quite a few rails in the jumping and you ended up going in just now with quite a few in hand. Did you think about that or always focused? No, I thought whatever the others have, I tried to really stay in my box and said wish it, dream it and now do it. <laughs> And a little celebration for you from now on? Yes, now first we have to come home. <laughs> it's quite a long way, but definitely we have a beer now and champagne at home. Great, thanks so much. Well done. Go and uh, enjoy it. Thank you very much. <laughs> thanks for crossing the fingers. The Germans only had two riders here for the four-star, but took the top two placings. We spoke to German team trainer Christopher Bartel about today's result. Uh, yeah, it's been a great weekend to be first, second here. Uh, yeah, couldn't be more happy, obviously, and uh, not what we yeah, could have expected when we came. Of course, they're in great form at the moment, the guys, so, yeah, can't be more thrilled. A lot of people made this weekend look quite difficult. Andreas and Ingrid made it look easy, didn't they? <laughs> it's uh, not so good to say it looks easy. I mean, it's, it's tough out there. Uh, the cross-country course is really challenging. Uh, they really rode it superbly, both of them, and of course, yeah, to, to jump so well today was also a plus, yeah. So, Ingrid not only takes the win here in Poe, but the early lead in the worldwide FEI Classic Series on 15 points. That's all from Poe for this year, but join us for the second leg of the FEI Classics from Australia's international three-day event in Adelaide from the 13th to the 16th of November here on FEI TV.